What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Colorado Chronicles. We are packing things up. I think we're pretty much ready to go. We just need to hook up the trailer and then of course do that whole wow. process. Real experienced. Um, <laughs> I know I know what to do. I just don't deal with terminology. Anyway, so it's probably what another 30 minutes or so until we leave. Then we'll see if we can get out of here and see if we can actually get on the road and then we're gonna head off to Roswell. So our goal is to get to Roswell tonight and boondock there, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how far we get because that's about eight, a little over eight hours without stops. So we're expecting it to be about 10 or so with all of the stops. So this is the longest trip that we'll take with the trailer, that we have taken with the trailer. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a good time. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. So I want I want to like jump out of excitement, but then I also want to throw up from nervousness. So we'll see how it goes. Well, let's get let's get on the road. boys y'all ready let's go do a quick little walk around locked locked lock 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 plugged in Firestone, you know, big branch, um, you know, chain or whatever you want to call it. Um, branch chain amino Branch chain amino acids. Yeah. For all you fitness people out there. We have a trailer, obviously. And so if you have a trailer, they don't actually test emissions. And so we are getting our uh, registration very last minute. Uh, in other words, huh? Inspection. Inspection. That's right. Well, inspection, which leads to a registration, which I can do online. Uh, so I can have it all registered by today. Um, for our trip, but the thing is uh, we were worried just because we're doing it so late and we found out we're registered in a, a different county from the one that we're currently in. And so they said trailers don't, don't matter. Uh, it doesn't have to ch test emissions, so uh, it doesn't fall into that category where it has to be within that county that you, you purchased it or where it's registered at that current time. So uh, he's we have a guy that we know in here and coming out to do it right now. We learned something today, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but everything's, everything's good. So uh, we're getting that taken care of and um, we'll be taking off here shortly. They, they said they're gonna do this guy's trailer first and then uh, on to ours. They said it takes five or ten minutes per trailer. All right, so they actually checked our tires. They tested the battery. The battery is good. They filled up our tires. I think they were slightly low, so they went ahead and filled them up for us. And then we got it inspected. It was all good. Um, so we are good to go. Now we're on the road. All right, so our first stop is about an hour and a half away. Gas stations are so busy that we have to send Blair out there just to hold our line on the gas tank. It's been fun. So one benefit to traveling with your house is whenever you get hungry, you just jump out and reach in the freezer for some ice cream. Did you want something? No, it's fine. <laughs> Thanks for asking. We have about six and a half hours till we reach our first destination. Of course, we've got several gas stops along the way, but until we reach our boondocking site. Yes, um, who would I need to speak to about parking the RV there tonight? So we go to the end of row 11. You said you'll see the other campers there. So we've got another, uh, mine's like four, almost five hours. That's a long way. That's a long way. Well, let me do a walk around, I guess. So what are you looking for? Make sure you put all this stuff back to how it was. You just kind of. Yep, it was good. This is really cool, guys. All of those lights back there, all of those red flashing lights, are those giant windmills. It's kind of creepy, because it's way off in the distance and there are tons and tons of these lights. It's really cool. But basically, we are in nowhere. And we've been in nowhere for 
hours now. The thing about Texas is that it takes forever to get out of, especially if you live in the middle of it. Yes, it's a final end. I've never been so excited to see a Walmart before. <laughs> Made it! It's 12 in the morning. Well, let's park. Uh, I'm pull far, far Oh my gosh, there's so many RVs here. We've got our lights. <laughs> it's actually not bad. Doors locked. All right. Buzz is down. Oh, Buzz. Boys. <laughs> Stay breathing. Good night, boys. All right, guys, so my voice is gone. I think tomorrow's gonna be even worse. Oh, Brady. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see Walmart out of my window. <laughs> Weird. So this is obviously a first for us. Um, it's loud, but we need to get some sleep. So we're gonna talk to you guys. We're gonna talk to y'all in the morning. <laughs> we survived the night. I did. I don't know about you. They survived the night, but slept with us in the bed all night. Brady had his bed. What time is it? 6.59. Matt ran into Walmart and got some Pedialyte coffee and cough drops because I feel like death. So I will be the face of the channel today. Hopefully the all voice because this is bad. Yeah, <laughs> this is good. You, you can tell Brady's like, wait a minute. This isn't home. <laughs> Brady, where are we? I wish we had that many blocks all the time for the front little jack. I know, right? It would take <laughs> seconds. Good to go. Good to go. All right, so first ever Time to boondock. Yeah, and it was not the full experience just because we showed up so late. I mean, I guess it was still a full experience, but I kind of wanted to show up at a reasonable time instead of like midnight to 1 a.m. God, it was so late. I slept terribly. <laughs> I slept okay, but we only slept for like four or five hours. I know. Oh, I know. We're already, we're already up and going. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we're, I guess we're still used to Texas time. Um, so my, my thoughts on boondocking here, and I mean, it's pretty expected. It's loud. Um, I don't know if all Walmarts are this loud at night, but there's like people speeding by through the parking lot, like yeah, playing really loud music. Um, these lights are bright, which I actually like. I don't mind that because that makes me feel more safe. Um, the guy next to us was running his generator, which was really, really loud. I don't know. Yeah. I've read on a few forums, they say try not to run your generator, which we didn't. We, we just use headlamps. We used battery operated lights and the only time we used the battery was to bring the jack up and down and the, the slide out in. about halfway Yeah, we only out. did halfway and then uh, we only clicked one light on one time and that was to take a picture. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the other thing was the jack. We just put all six <laughs> of our blocks or eight of our blocks, I can't remember how many, mm -hmm. uh, underneath it. And so literally it just went from here to here and it was good. Yeah, it was nice. A little bit more, but yeah. Um, and the fridge is running off propane and it seems to be doing okay. And then, you know, for like washing our face and brushing our teeth, we just used our gallon jugs, um, which we've done that camping before. Yeah. You know, we've been camping, so that's nothing new. And same thing for the bathroom too. Um, you just kind of pour a little water down there. Yeah. So I was, I was really nervous for some reason. I guess I thought that we use more electricity we've than never we done really it. do, but it was fine. You know, I didn't, there wasn't a time where I felt like super unsafe. I was just aware of all of the noise but I know that there are a ton like there are one two three four 
four campers all around us. There were more last night, and there's a van right there. Somebody's sleeping in. Oh, so nice. it's not like we're completely alone. You know, if something were to happen, I feel like people around us would hear, and I would hope that these people... I mean, there are beers. Usually they're really, really nice and helpful. So it's not not bad for staying for free. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like you get up in the morning, Matt went in, got us some coffee and uh, cough drops for this. You know, so you've got a store super close for by this. for this a mess. So you've got a, su a store super close by, so that's really convenient. Um, overall, I think it's a good first experience at I no problem docking at Walmart. Yeah. Would I recommend? Yes, because it's free. Yeah, because it's free. Just be aware that you might not get the best night's sleep if you are a light sleeper or if you don't feel good. Nature. <laughs> the dogs did fine cold. too. Buzz didn't. He didn't really bark much at all. I think he growled once a little bit. Did but, I mean, with all of the noise, I'm surprised that he didn't growl or bark more. Because normally mm. he's real sensitive to sounds. Brady, I'm pretty sure Brady just slept through the night. So, everybody seemed to do okay. Yeah, he wasn't that antsy. He got up a couple times. Mm -hmm. that's, that's just Brady, though. But we're going to get on the road. I'm going to take some more cough drops. I've got Pedialyte, water, coffee. So, I'm all set. Hopefully, the next time you guys see me, I will sound and feel a lot better. Yeah. Because we're about to be in Colorado. And we've already made it, what, this is eight plus hours of driving? Is it already? I don't know. We drove forever in Texas. Yeah. Texas takes forever to get out of, guys. Forever. We got out of it. I don't even know what time last night. It was late. It was it was probably around 11. I think we've been in New Mexico for maybe an hour or so. Yeah. Crazy. But we're yeah. in Roswell. I really, maybe if we see anything cool, we'll stop by and there's show you guys. There's an alien face over there. Oh yeah, that's just on a fence. It's just on a fence. Um, but okay, one one downside was with driving so late and in the dark, is I know that we were passing a bunch of really cool, like deserty areas. We passed something called I can't remember what it was sand something. The Caprock Escarpment. Oh here, we got pictures last night while we were driving. Oh man. That's and cool. I was like, man, we're passing all of this, but we can't see it. It's in the dark, and we'll I just more. assume that it still looked like flat West Texas, like Lubbock and stuff which is completely flat and dry and nothing to see. Um, but we started passing what looked like little dunes in the background, and then we saw tons and tons of jackrabbits yeah. on the side of the road. They're like deer out here. <laughs> yeah, we were like looking for jackrabbits, us. and then what do we see? Oh my gosh. Ugh. So, we this is midnight, you guys. Midnight, and we are driving. It is nowhere. No, We've we, been driving for at least an hour without a town. No yeah. lights, no town, just rabbits. Yeah. Um, pitch black and we pass a guy walking on the side of the road and he had his shirt his arms tucked into his shirt because it was actually very chilly and his face was really red it seemed like and he was just walking on the side of the highway and we pass him and we were like was was that a guy <laughs> <laughs> like what and and it took it was seriously another hour until we got to Roswell until the next town yeah probably so whatever his story was I'm assuming he'd been walking all day because that's why he was all red and sunburnt He's just walking next to the highway, yeah. middle of the night, in the desert. Yeah, I guess he was halfway there. I I feel like Wherever he was... It, maybe he just got back from an alien abduction, you know? I don't know. Roswell. We're in Roswell, so you never know. I just hope that he's okay. I don't know. Can you imagine how terrifying that would be? Just walking all night? In, in the, the desert? In the desert? Yeah. Yeah. It's not a desert, but yeah, it's pretty bad. It's desert-ish. <laughs> Desertish conditions. Desertish. Desertish. Dessert. I'm hungry. Okay. <laughs> well, that's going to be it for today's video. We're going to head off to Colorado, guys, and we will show you things along the way. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up if you did like it. Our cam is slowly tilting. It can't go much further. It's touching the thing. Make sure and hit that thumbs up if you liked it. Um, and next time we see you, we might just be in Colorado. We might just be. We might just be there. All right, guys. I'll have fun out there. Bye.